Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Okay, Gemini. So let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so I don't know if you guys are estranged from someone. Uh, it's been some strain in the relationship. Somebody didn't speak their feelings. They didn't feel like they wanted to be vulnerable enough to speak exactly how they feel. But they don't feel like there's room to be vulnerable, okay? Um, let's see what's really going on for my Gemini this week. Whoa. <laughs> Your card fell onto the floor. The lovers. So a significant relationship, significant choice that you have to make about love, about work, about the both. Um, yeah, you have a choice you need to make here. You can have, I don't know if you want something or somebody to be more ambitious. Like you want, you love the relationship, but you want them to be more ambitious to go out and bring in money. I don't know where I'm getting that from. But the lovers are showing up and something about love and money, making a choice here. Um, feeling like you need to sacrifice the chariot. Um, we're dealing with the cancer. We've got two majors here. Um, choice of who you love, what you love to do, or what you do for money. The chariot. Somebody is packing up and moving in a different direction. There's a significant change happening in a marriage, a relationship, home life. Um, someone is out for themselves. They're doing for self here. They're moving in a new positive direction, says the, char the chariot. Um, something about a car, a vehicle also. The ten of cups, somebody uh, could be going after what, what it is they want for themselves. It could be a masculine energy uh, going after his happiness, uh, whatever that may be. It could be a family, family dynamic. It could just be... Somebody wants to call a truce within this connection. Like, look, let's just be back together. Um, let's get back together. Um, it is what it is. Uh, right, four of swords. Someone wants the break or the breakdown of the connection to be over. They thought about it. And now they, they, they want you or they want the connection. They want their foundation, what they have made with you or vice versa. Queen of Pentacles, they want you as their queen, as you are the perfect wife. They see your value, or vice versa. Um, you see their value. There was um, separation here, but then you now there's you guys coming back together. Someone is a working mother. If not, they're, they're just out working for themselves. They're concerned about their own their own selves, their own beauty rituals. Or trying to. Um, make themselves their, the best person. Somebody left the connection here. Somebody felt defeated. Okay, and now someone is uh, speaking their truth, um, trying to use their words wisely in terms of bringing somebody back in or, or reeling them back in. Um, but it says that the, what you don't know is that it might be, um, this might collapse right before you. This relationship is volatile, it's in, it's out, it's hot, it's cold, it's up, it's down. There's moments of great intensity and then there's moments of disconnection. It's like two people are out for themselves. They're trying to be together, but they really are out for themselves. They really are looking out for themselves. They really care for self. Self-interest is highlighted. Selfishness, self-aggression. It's bad blood between the two of you. It's like you're trying to sweep it under the rug. Someone does something at night, leaves at night, um, betrays the other person at night, is selfish in terms of um, some love affair that maybe they are engaging in or have been engaging in. 
somebody uses their words wisely in order to manipulate, in order to bring about the energy that they want, uh, create the atmosphere that they want that's best conducive to them and their agenda. Um, makes the other person feel stuck, could be you. This is what someone does to you. Someone has the gift of gab here. Somebody just continues to keep fighting for what they want. These cards specifically talk about fighting for what you want. In a connection and in a love affair, um, somebody's childish or childlike behavior is exuded. There is drama. Um, there's romance and then there's drama. Or is there's a dramatic romance here. Um, this is the nature of your relationship. Let me get you a moment. I was, well... Let's get you some advice. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? Somebody wants someone to grow up, be their queen, be their wife, and it, it, somebody also feels like they're incapable of doing this. Um, there's mood swings, there's flying off the handle, there's drama, there's argument. Um, the advice, the Ten of Swords in reverse, it came out in reverse. Um, someone just won't let the drama, the victimization, the volatile or the violence be over. Um, somebody has maybe two men or, or there's two people. Yeah, somebody has two men that they have to choose from. Ooh. But somebody won't let a relationship be over. Either that's you, Gemini, or the other person. Somebody just won't let it be over. There is a cheating scandal here. Somebody does have, have another person that they're dating, actively dating, seeing, courting, being courted. There's a, an unorthodox, uh, non-traditional marriage or connection here. This is when other people are in your bedroom. It starts from the bedroom and then it extends out to where now people are having relationships when it was supposed to just be sexual. Someone is not sure if the other person moved on. This could be same sex also. There could be someone dating, going out on dates, talking to siblings, neighbors, friends about this whole cheating scandal. Something is unorthodox. It's not bright. Um, the ten of swords in reverse. When the Ten of Swords is upright, it talks about completion, the fullness of a thing, the full manifestation of it. Somebody just won't let it go to the end. They keep reeling this person back in. They keep this person stuck. Somebody won't learn the lesson. They won't move on. It could be the both of you. Somebody could have more than one man, more than one woman. Someone is dating around. What is the Moonology card we have? Moonology card for Gemini. Okay, it's time to take action. New Moon and Aries. Okay, yeah, it's time to take action here and get. Could be definitely dealing with a Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. New Moon and Cancer. Maybe this person is threatening your loved ones. Maybe this is how they keep you stuck. Um, new moon and Aries. Okay, avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan in order to get out of this, okay? A new male is coming into your life. Didn't I say it? I a choice, girl. Do your best to be happy with that. Don't even think about giving up, Okay. Um, the flame is lit. Um, this is a big yes from the universe. You still have a long way to go. 
um, but you're on your way. You need to assert yourself and be brave. Don't go too fast and forget your manners also. Treat people how you want to be treated. You'll create better karma. And that is that. Gemini, if you feel like it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.